but you uh, summed it up perfectly right there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening, introducing first to the blue corner, is coming from Italy. Let's give it up, everybody, to Luca Lombardo. Lombardo joins us here at Patong Beach in Phuket, 26 years old, 182 centimeters tall, 5 foot 9, for those of you who don't like to go metric, 38 wins, 10 and losses, now, 2 draws. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call his opponent to the red corner, he's coming from Serbia, let's give it up for Milos Bajovic! And making his way to the ring all the way from Serbia, Milos Bajovic, 25 years of age, six foot one, nickname Show Me The Money, 16 wins, 8 wins coming by a knockout, 2 losses, 0 draws, fighting out of Phuket, top team here on the island of Phuket, his most recent fight was in China back in December. All right, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue corner. Age at 26, height 1.82 meters, weighing 74 kilograms, having a personal record of 38 victories, 10 loss, and 2 draws. He's fighting for Timbul Muay Thai, 2018 Max Muay Thai champion, 2015 Naxos champions. Ladies and gentlemen, from Italy, please bring the noise. Boys are for Luca Lombardo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the red corner, age 26, height 1.85 meters, weighing 74 kilogram, having 16 victory, eight by knockout, and two losses. Is fighting for the Schengen. He's a Schengen champion. Ladies and gentlemen, from Serbia, let's give it up for Milos Bajovi. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be three minute, three round each K1 rules. A referee in the ring, Prija Tangje. Here we go, three three minute rounds. As you heard Michael or MC say, this will be K1 rules. Milos Bajovic from Serbia in the red corner. Luca Lombardi from Italy in the blue. Serbia versus Italy in Phuket. How good is that? This should be a fascinating clash of styles as well. Bull Muay Thai versus Phuket top team. Two great gyms here on the island. A little bit of irony in the ring as well. If you remember the uh, kickboxer movie, Tong Po. <laughs> Luca with his uh, Tong Po-esque ponytail. Look at the range on Bajovic. Bajovic was telling me earlier on today, he's, uh, since he's a kid, he has learned ballet, step, tap. Like He listed about 10 different styles of dancing. And he said that transcends into his style in the ring. So let's see, will he have a bit of Lamachenko? Yeah, that's it. He's, movement he's here. probably the best example, in the, right? In the uh, ring tonight. So both range and rhythm for the Serbian. Baiting that leg kick from Lombardo. Yeah, a little bit of or and or from the uh, from the A little bit of intimidation there by Milos standing over him when he was on the on the canvas. He's a mean looking individual. <laughs> yeah, he's here to do some work in Phuket tonight. It's something of a home victory despite the fact that he's from Serbia. Both these guys training right here in Phuket, repping their gyms. Milos said he's really enjoying living in Thailand right now. He's Traditionally, he's always fought kickboxing K1, but he's loving learning the skill of the science of eight limbs. Oh! oh what, what a shot he's from out. Lombardo. He's out cold. He's out cold. That was huge from the Italian. Literally took the words out of my mouth. What a statement. Massive overhand right from Lombardo. That was emphatic from the 26 year old. Let's take a moment to make sure Milos is okay. 
Yeah, it's all right celebrating these kind of things, but you gotta have concern, of course, with the fight against them. It's a beautiful sport that we can have agony and ecstasy as we witnessed right there. Fantastic comeback, so to speak, by Luca. Andrew, take that away, please. Well, he's going in with a one-two combination. Lombardo under attack early on in the round. Ends up on his backside. But then we know what's coming. Huge shot just in a moment. I thought that was it. He looks for his opening. And this was all Bajovic. Look how clean that is, Kevin. The winner is. This has got to be a good feeling for Lombardo. It's a big looping overhand right. Just lands flush on the chin of Bajovic. He was out before he hit the canvas. Look, he was out. He was out. The minute that punch landed, he was out. Watch his eyes. If you see the camera angle, the one caught it. Congratulations, Luca Lombardi. What a statement he made right there. And good to see Milos back to his feet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. It's a clear one. And the winner is by a knockout in the first round. Let's Luca give it up for Lombardi, Italy, Luca first round can tell by his hairstyle he's an individual with plenty of flash plenty of pizzazz likes to make a statement and he just did exactly that here in Phuket Thailand AMMA has seen some highlight real stuff in this second fight he'll enjoy that replay for sure wow 